Hello everyone. Welcome back to Shifting News. A channel for interesting facts in different areas across various cities, countries, and touching on different personalities. In this video, let's have a sneak preview of the Nairobi Expressway through a drive across the 27 km stretch. While on the road, you need to be careful since there are a lot of activities going on. A drive towards James Gishuru Junction shows that most of the groundwork involving beams and pillars is almost complete. Believe it or not, this is a unique and amazing feature in Kenya since we are not used to such kinds of roads.
at the museum hill interchange, you will notice that the expressway has crossed over the existing road that connects to Dika Road. Driving on some of the lanes near the construction sites can be a challenge since some of them have been reduced to one lane. You may experience load movements due to the ongoing constructions. The Hale Selassie interchange is coming up well with lots of pillars set in place. The engineers and other workers at this section are working day and night in shifts to ensure the completion follows the expected dates. For now, it is hard to determine how the roads interconnect. A preview of the simulated plan shows how magnificent this interchange will be as the road connects to Nairobi CBD and Upper Hill area. This section connects to the other section of Uhuru Highway at the Bunyala Road roundabout where you can see the concrete beam holder still in place.
While moving from one side of the town to the other using Nuhuru Highway, you will need to be patient, especially on weekdays. The roads are busy with lots of motorists, while the lanes have been reduced to a single lane to ensure the construction activities proceed on well.
we will be bringing you more updates as the construction continues. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.